What the hell? We're gonna get you, Great Jojo Man. Why do you hate you up, us, Great Jojo Look Man? Square bases. Ah! What, what the hell? Square bases. God damn it. God damn it. <sighs> wow! Now those square bases are taken care of. Welcome back to Into the Wolf Time, everybody. Are you guys all having a happy fucking Christmas, everybody? I sure as hell am. Hella excited because on Sunday, I'm meeting up with Ghost and Clarky. All right, gonna get our drink on. Well then, today's episode is really just a progress review on what I've been doing with the Blood Angels. So, without further ado everybody, let's get cracking. Okie dokie everybody, now let me get this stuff out of the way. Oh, a bit of green stuff to, appears to be stuck on my uh, my piece of paper. I should really get a new one, it's getting rather dirty this piece of paper. But yeah, uh, first thing what I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the progress that I've done on Brother Lamartes. Um, As you can see guys, well you can't really see because the lighting is horrible. I'm doing this video rather late today so I'm going to have to bring my light around a little bit. Hold on. Whoa. Shit, I just appeared to have knocked my TV over. A little bit. Oh well. The show must go on. There we There we go. Is that better for everybody? Can everybody see there now? I'll put my hand in front of it. There we go. Okay, as you can see, um not an awful lot much to uh, this guy. I've been so busy with assignments and Christmas present shopping and things like that. Uh, added his uh, Crozius Arcanum. Decided not to go for the custom one because the custom one I actually made it was just too too big. The one that I was designed to go for. So this is your bog standard Crozius Arcanum. Might add a uh, blood symbol uh, icon to the back of it here. Shave these little dots off, and then uh, maybe some more purity seals. Speaking of purity seals, added a few more to the back of him. Uh, decided to get rid of the original one that I had because it was a bit too. I don't know, it, there was something about it I didn't quite like the way it was flowing, but yeah. So I've got the other purity seals. I might add another one, so he's got four, uh, two on each side, sorry. That makes a total of four. My maths appears to be quite bad recently. Okay, we've got uh, a bit of a... I'm going to turn the camera this way a little bit. There we go. Um, so we've got some more purity seals on his back leg there. Uh, I'm sorry this is quite in shadow, this episode, everybody. Um, yeah, so more purity seals coming off his leg, a bit of a tattiness added to the end of the little scroll thing that's coming off. Uh, and that's basically what I've done to him so far. Again, not had much time to. Okay, Captain uh, Tycho. Here he is. He's looking uh, as awesome as ever. Uh, basically, things added. I added a this little tabard here. I think it's called a tabard. If anyone wants to correct me, please do. Some more purity seals coming off. Now, I decided to go for the image on the um, info sheet that Annex kindly did for me. On the sheet he has this uh, kind of weird face on his shoulder pad like that. That needs a bit of tidying up but it should look like this. So that is what I've tried to... it won't actually go any further because of the camera. God damn it because of his melter blast. But yeah that's supposed to be the face on his knee pad. Uh, I was going to try and sculpt. Oh shit! I was going to try and self sculpt a face, but I decided against that just because I'm rubbish at self self sculpting faces. Uh, so I just uh, 
trimmed one of the Blood Angel one down, filed it down, chopped it down, and then uh, stuck it on with a bit of green stuff. That's going to be uh, smoothed out sooner or later. Now, I have the actual, whatever it's called, Death Company. The f uh, not really much conversion work done on them, just kind of giving them more dynamic poses. Let me try and bring this light up again, it appears to have slipped. There we go, that's a lot better. First Death Company, here he is. Kind of like running to the front, shooting his bolter, sword slung out to the side, as if he's just chopped through something, or he's literally just pelting it. Again, magnetised backpacks, just clip on like that. Uh, one of my favourite dynamic poses, but we'll get to my favourite in a, uh, in a bit. Uh, next guy, once I find him, and put his backpack on straight, is there. Just your bog standard power sword wielding guy. I really do like the new Blood Angels power swords. I think they're really, really nice. They kind of remind me of uh, like katanas with the, uh, the the way the edge is done. Uh, but yeah, there again, magnetised backpack. These guys have both normal backpack and jump pack. Mm, moving on, next guy. This is the Thunderhammer guy that Alex wanted. I love the Thunderhammer for this. He actually has a bionic hand or a bionic arm, which if you want to look at it, uh, for his left hand, which is really, really cool. A uh, bit awkward to put together, quite a bit of filing and a bit of shaving down, but got there eventually. He's got his bolt pistol holstered there for him. Again, removable backpack. I'm not going to say that anymore because they all have removable backpacks. Um, the next guy that I've done, this is the one with the... Uh, Melter pistol. He's kind of like looking over, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna shoot you in the face with a melter pistol. Now, if you notice, this um, has a little cut out there. That's because this torso corresponds to this head, because the head has got a slightly elongated snout, kind of like the beaky uh, helmets, but not as bad looking. Uh, yeah, so that's him. And now we come to my favourite guy. This guy's an absolute beast. I chose this uh, this guy because he's really heavily armoured. Got a nice knight-looking helm there with some Blood Angel symbols on the side. He's also got his power fist. This is off the Commander Sprue. And it just looks awesome. Looks like he's about to run at you and just punch you in the face. Punch you in the face! What's that? So yeah, this is my favourite guy because he's got such a dynamic pose to him. Looks like he's like dashing forward. It's awesome. Looks really, really good. Uh, so yeah, guys, and um, that's what I've been up to so far. Um, you won't hear from me now on YouTube for a little while uh, because I'm actually on Sunday night going down to Clarkie's, uh, where he lives, and I'm going with Ghost. So you'll probably get an update on what's going on on one of our channels. Well, it might not be on my channel because I might not bring my little netbook or not, but it probably might be on Ghost's channel or even Clarkie's channel. You never know. So, ladies and gents, that's all we have for today. Um, sorry there's not been much to show you. Hope you enjoyed the uh, little beginning bit with the attack of the square bases. They got their revenge, but I got rid of them. Uh, so, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to uh, comment and subscribe. Subscribe if you're new to watching this. There'll be more fun and models next week, hopefully. Okay, guys, see you again. Goodbye. I can't shut the box.